Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is May and I'm gonna do 50 facts about me so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So let's start with the first one. Why am my name is Mayo. My first name is May. My last name begins with an O. So combined is Mayo. Wanted to do YouTube since I've seen Daft Bodies back in 2007. I literally learned the one on the right hand side, whole dance. And I wanted someone so bad to learn the left hand side because I really wanted to perform it and record it and like let them see it like look, I did it too. I am 4'10 so I am super duper short. Color is blue, it's been my favorite color always and I get everything in blue and I pick things based on if they're blue or not like Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles is my favorite turtle and I pick him when I play Turtles in Time because he's blue, like he has the blue, you know, face mask. I get super duper red no matter what, like if I'm pissed, happy, sad, annoyed, I just get redness, it's just something I've always, always happens to me. I am disgustingly obsessed with Al Pacino, like he's the best thing that ever happened to me, I love him so much. Um, along those obsessive lines, I'm obsessed with 49ers, Disney, Tim Burton anything. World of Warcraft, Daft Punk, Yoshi, I love Yoshi, um, those are like the things, like when people think of those things they always think of me because they know how much I'm like obsessed. Another fact about me is people never know what nationality I am, they like to guess, they like to assume, they like to, it's just a mess, like people will meet me because my first name is May with an I, they just think, they link Asian into it, but because I have an Afro they want to throw in black into it. Um, and because I'm light skinned, they'll be like, oh, maybe she's like part white. They just never, first of all, Spanish like never occurs to anyone or Hispanic or anything. Like they just, they never, Latina just doesn't come across. Like it's not until like I start speaking Spanish that people are like, oh, like I've had people in the past hear me speak Spanish and they go, oh my God, like what school did you go to? They really like took their Spanish very serious. And I'm like, what? You thought that I learned that from school? Like you didn't, it didn't even cross your mind that I could actually be Hispanic. Like, so um, I know I might get a little heat for that, but it's the truth. I, I'm telling the truth. People never know that I'm Puerto Rican when they meet me. They just, they say when they look at me, they just see a question mark. They have no idea what I am. So I think that's a little fun fact. Uh, my favorite animal is a wallaby because I was obsessed with Rocco's modern life growing up. My nephew is my best friend ever. I'm obsessed with him and he just brings me the most joy. Um, I used to keep a live journal. It, it was like my life. I used to get on every day, jot down my day. I used to have songs of the day picked out and everything. I have to be player one when I play any video game. I don't care. I just have to be because I'm so used to looking at the top part of the screen. I just have to be player one. The only exception to that rule is if the second player is a girl girl players, I want to be a girl when I play a game, I don't want to be a guy, so I will sometimes make the exception, but not always, there's times I'm just like, no, nah, I'm still going to be player one, it doesn't matter. I have a birthmark on my face, um, it's really hard to see, it's one of those things I would have to point out for you, and you'd have to see it, but it pretty much covers like right here. I have 13 tattoos, one of them looks like a pen mark because the artist hit me with a gun when he was doing my arm, so. I get a lot of times people go, oh, is that a pen mark? And I'm like, no, it's a tattoo, damn it. I have, I lost count how many piercings I have because I take them out, some of them close, I get them back, whatnot. Um, but definitely more than 10, definitely. And my Labre, which I don't have in right now, is my favorite. It was the first one I got in like a legit shop. I was petrified, and, but it was so awesome. And the lead singer from Linkin Park, Chester was the main reason I got it, and I love that piercing. I'll never get rid of it. Favorite show ever is Nip Tuck. I will argue to the death about how that is one of the best shows that ever hit TV. All of my breakups have been terrible. My absolute favorite band is a tie because I just couldn't decide because they both mean so much to me, and they've both done saved my life at two different points in my life. Lincoln Park was my life when I was 13. 
Like, they sang to me. Like, when I would listen to them, I'm like, you are talking to me. And they made life just so much better. I love Linkin Park so much. And the same thing with Daft Punk. Like, I had got into them really heavily when I was, like, 17, 18. And the same thing. I, I was like, what was life before listening to Daft Punk? I don't... My favorite songs, because I can't pick one, obviously, are Fergalicious. Love that. That's my jam. Crawling by Linkin Park. That's what introduced me to them and pretty much changed my life. Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger by Daft Punk. I just, that song is just my thing. Remember I was talking about the Daft Bodies? It's my thing. And If I Can Have You, but the Bee Gees version from um, Saturday Night Fever. I, I love the Bee Gees, so that's, they just, that song is perfection to me. I cannot talk to you or be your friend or take anything you say serious if you make a negative comment about Michael Jackson. I will not, if you say something about Michael Jackson, I will just, you died. Like, I don't care because he's the best and for you to just disrespect him, I can't even deal. To me, you're just, mm. 23 is my favorite number. I am so obsessed with 23. It's disgusting. Like, I have OCD about it. I see it everywhere. Um, I'm just obsessed with it. Like, I have to get things in 23s and 23 twos or threes. More, you know, it's just, it means something to me. It means the world to me. Uh, my Malibu Bay Breeze is my going out drink of choice. It's like my thing. I love it so much. It's so good. Uh, I can't drink really like that because drink, I don't like alcohol, period. But if I have to get a drink, Malibu Bay Breeze, Malibu Rum, do not give me. Bacardi rum or nothing. I want Malibu. It's so yummy. So good. I am currently 25 years old. <laughs> I went through a phase where I thought I would look so cute if I cut off all my hair. And I did. I had like, literally like, they took clippers to my hair. I had like what Khalees had. Kind of like with the bossy video. Toonami was me and my brother's life. It was just us. Outlaw Star, Dragon Ball Z, Gundam, just obsessed. Like, we just tuned in. And I mean, I was so obsessed that I learned, I pretty much try to sing the end songs to like Dragon Ball Z, Outlaw Star, even though like Outlaw Star's in Japanese. I like would like try to sing it. That's how much obsessed I was with my animes back when I was a child. I am such a scaredy cat when it comes to blood spiders and the dark I, I've overcome I just learned how to not put my friends through sleeping with like noise and TVs on um, I prefer still sleep with the light on I don't mind but I, I've become more courteous to my friends who I like sleep over with um, I just I can't I just hate being in the dark it, it gives me so much anxiety um, I hate it so much I'm scared of is life without my grandma because she she's the world she, like, my, my nephew is, like, my best friend. Like, we joke like that, but my grandma is my life. Like, she's everything to me. I can watch hours and hours and hours upon hours of Forensic Files. I am an Aquarius. I have this weird thing where, like, I instantly will dislike you if I meet you and you, like, claim to like what I like. Like, I just don't know. I think I'm so used to in my house, like, people not liking anything that I like. I've always been the odd man out. Like, the only one that likes blue, the only one that likes the 49ers, the only one that likes, like, obsessed with, like, member for Christmas, the only one. Like, that was me growing up. So I think when I meet people and they're like, oh, I I like the 49ers or I like member for Christmas or Ariel's my favorite Disney princess. I, like, instantly I'm just like, I don't want you to like what I like. It. Ew. I don't know why. It's just, I got to overcome it. Like, once I meet the people, like, get to know them, and I'm like, oh, wait, you really do like the 49ers. You really do like art, like Ariel. Like, you're not just saying that. Then I'll, like, respect you. But offhand, I'm just like, okay. It just, I don't know. It's a weird thing. I'm just like that. Halo is my favorite first-person shooter of all time. I will argue to the death about how Halo is better than Call of Duty or anything else. But... Super Mario World is my favorite game. I will I have two copies. Like, I don't play for Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Riding a blue Yoshi is the highlight of my gaming career.
besides like fighting with my siblings, I've only been in one major fight. Um, and it's nothing to really be proud of. I'm not proud of that it happened. And um, the only funny outcome out of it was people for like months called me Mae Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> My absolute favorite movies ever. Like, these two are my life, period. Scarface. I know all the words. The music, Giorgio Morato, that's my jam. I love Scarface and Nightmare for Christmas. Before the hype, I have the, I have the original Nightmare for Christmas on tape. It's in here somewhere in my room. Of course, I need to show it to somebody. Of course, I can't find it, but... It's in here. Uh, it's been in my life since literally I was born. I love that movie so much. And then, of course, I just have to do some honorable mentions real quick because there's other movies I'm just obsessed with. Little Mermaid, Pulp Fiction, Little Nemo's Adventures in Slumberland. Get on it. Such a good movie. And No Country for Old Men and The Departed. I can watch any of those movies pretty much as much as I can watch Remember for Christmas and Scarface. Those are just classics for me. My favorite book series is a huge tie between the Dark Tower series by Stephen King and Harry Potter. Like, if you don't like Harry Potter, then you're useless to me in life. But I love Harry Potter. I just went to Harry Potter land, which is what I call, you know, the Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade in uh, Universal Studios and uh, Islands of Adventure. But me and my best friend, we call it Harry Potter land because that's what it is to us, Harry Potter land. An honorable mention for books is Where the Red Fern Grows. It's, not, it's such a good book. It makes me cry every time. I, I wanted dogs so bad because of that book. Com, uh, Watchmen is such a great honorable mention also. It, it, the movie, if you hated the movie, give the book a shot. The book is so much better than the movie. And everyone says that, but that is very true for Watchmen. And Peanuts Gallery, like comics, like, you know, Snoopy and the gang, like... Like, I have vintage ones I keep here. Like, not vintage, but like old ones, like... Like, you know, these are, this is from 2000. This is 14 years old. Like, I was a legit Peanuts fan. Like, I love, love Charlie Brown. My favorite food is my grandma's rice and beans. My grandma, to me, makes the best rice and beans ever. Like, everyone and their grandma, like, thinks. And with a slice of morcillas, which is a Puerto Rican blood sausage, pretty much, and some boiled plantains. That's my meal. I can eat that for life, forever. It's so good. Mm. I dip. I am. I dip buttered toast in hot chocolate before I eat breakfast. It's just how I start breakfast. I think I was the only 49ers fan that was sad about losing Alex Smith. Yes, I will definitely say I was. I am obsessed with left-handed people. Like, if you're left-handed, I automatically like you. I think you're just so cool and fascinating. Fascinating. Um, Steve Young is left-handed, and that's how I became a 49ers fan, because Steve Young was left-handed. I am obsessed with Steve Young. If I ever met him, I would die. Mint chocolate chip ice cream is the best ice cream. I get severe homesickness, like, to the point that I hate going away from home. I take very short vacations, like, no more than four days. I don't, I don't like it. I hate it. Um... My ears are seven eighths, and I've been stretching them for seven years very slowly. Um, I never wanted my ears to blow out or, or you know, rip on me, so I've been very good with my ears. I am a very straightforward and blunt person to people I don't know. Like, I will, I'm regular, like, I don't care, I speak my mind. But to, like, my friends, I will bottle it up and hold it in for, like, years. And then, like, five years later, be like, that one time you did this to me, it really annoyed me. And they just look at me like, why didn't you say it the first time? And I'm like... I don't know. I was just trying to protect your feelings. Like, I don't know. I'm just like that because I know I can come off really strong. So I really try to be really nice. If I could have three dream cars, they would be all blue, of course, a 1970s Challenger, a 2001 Lamborghini Diablo 6.0, and a Viper of any year. But they will all have to be blue. And yeah, those are like that those are my cars I love those cars and fact number 50 is um, all I ever want in life is to make my mom proud like my mom is my hero and I just want to make her proud so that was 50 random facts about me um, I hope you were able to keep up a little bit I, I know I didn't really number them down but trust me I 
You might have noticed me looking over here a lot. Um, I wrote them down over here, so that's why I have to keep looking. I have really short-term memory, so that's fact 51. So I have to kind of look and then say what it is, but um, I promise you that was 50, or maybe a little bit more because I did combine a couple. Like when I said the favorite movies, I did uh, like a bunch there. Um, but I just had to keep it real. I couldn't pick one favorite movie, and I couldn't just mention The Little Mermaid. It's an honorable mention. I had to mention Pulp Fiction and other ones, so that's the truth. Um, I'll probably do another one of these with more facts later, uh, but I just want to introduce myself to you guys. Let me know some facts about you. I love meeting new people. Fact 52. I love meeting new people, um, even though I do get like severe anxiety sometimes. I do like to talk to new people. So thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy what you see here, and subscribe. Take care. Bye.